Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do photo editing using Lightroom. This will be my first time introducing Lightroom in my YouTube videos. There are many other photo editing apps, but since I shoot raw photos, I find Lightroom the best when editing these photos. The images I'm going to use today were recently taken in Cuba. I'm mainly going to focus on the color of this classic car, for instance. I took many photos as you can see. The camera I use this time is the Canon EOS M6, which is a mirrorless camera. As you can see, it was such a beautiful place to be, and I took many photos like this one of Popeye on the wall. When I saw this, I was like, I really want to draw this and procreate. I also have photos of people like this grandmother who look into my camera, but I mostly took photos of the car. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit 5 photos using Lightroom. Alright, let's start. There are folders on the left in Lightroom. These are called catalogs and I have them by year. When you want to import a new photo, tap the plus button at the bottom right and select camera raw or for those who want to import directly from SD card, insert a type C for your iPad and have the image imported into camera raw. This time, I'm going to start editing multiple photos of a classic car which is already imported. I'm going to work on something orthodox using this image and show you how to brighten a dark image. In the tab on the right, there are options to adjust hue and tone, add filters or trim. Go ahead and start with tone adjustment. Under the light tab, move the slider for shadows towards the right. Right now it's kind of too dark, so as you move the slider, it gets easier to see the image. It's still kind of blurry, so lower the black label a little to have a sharper image. Next we are going to change the highlights. As I change highlights, the color of this card changes a lot as you can see. The lower the highlights, the more visible it gets, and the higher the highlights, the less visible it gets. Lower the highlights so that you can see the details better. Higher the white level a little, and now the image looks clear. The hue is too blue and cold at the moment, so set the color temperature higher here to make it look warmer. I often make the tone and hue adjustment I did before, where I set shadows higher, lower the black level, lower the highlights, and set the white level higher. This is good, especially when you have an image that's too dark. This lets you see some parts that were invisible in the first place visible, and so I highly recommend it when you want to have a clearer image. Like this, it's complete. When you touch the screen, it shows you the original image. When you let it go, it shows you the picture completed. Okay, next I want to work on this image using the same photo editing method. This is the image of inside a car, but it's kind of too dark right now. So like we did before, set the shadow level higher. This lets you see the image a lot clearer. Lower the black level as well as the highlights and set the white level higher. Now the part that was too dark to see in the first place becomes more visible. This can be done because it was in raw image format, but you probably can't do this much with the image in JPEG or something. So I suggest taking a photo, saving it in raw image format, and editing it using Lightroom since you can do so much to make the image come alive. So this is what it looks like in the end. 
This was what it looked like in the first place, and this is after editing the image. When I zoom in and look at the car handle, I can see that its details are revitalized. That was about controlling shadow. Moving on, the next demonstration is about techniques you can use when you want to change the color of or brighten a part of an image. For this image, I want to work on the right bottom half and brighten the color of the car. We will make the selective adjustment. The second button from the bottom on the right toolbar is for selective adjustments. Tap the plus button at the upper left and grab a rectangle tool for gradation. Cover the area you want to change the color of with gradation in red. You could change the width or position of this later on too. So once you cover with gradation in red, you can adjust the level of exposure and shadow here to fix the bottom right part only. Okay, next I'm going to introduce you to the Spot Healing Brush. This is a tool used when you want to remove unnecessary parts of an image. So here I'm going to remove these stains on the ground. All you need to do is to adjust the size, circle the area where you don't need, and now it's gone. Just like this, the ground is clean and this image is complete. Alright, now we only have two more images to go. Next, I will use this image of a yellow taxi. It's a taxi called Coco Taxi, which you can find in Cuba. I'm going to change the color of this here. I forgot to mention earlier, but there's an option that says Lens Correction Filter on the Lens tab, so make sure to turn it on if you have an image in raw image format. This is something that autocorrects the distortion of the lens. I took this image using my Canon camera and it corrects distortion according to the lens of Canon. So if you have a picture taken by a Nikon camera, it corrects distortion according to the curve of Nikon. This is also a function you can use in raw image format, so I suggest turning the lens correction filter on for those who have raw image format. With this image, I want to show you how to change the color of an image partially. We are going to change the color of the car this time from the color tab. Click on the rainbow icon at the top here where we then show you a list of options below. So select the yellow area. You could change hue here and you could also change the color on the sides. It's possible to make the yellow part black and white or vividly colorful. Hue is about changing the color so you can turn it orange or light green. Brightness is about the amount of light you want so the yellow area can be darker or lighter. Doing this way is fine, but for those who want more precision, there is this cross mark right next to color mix. So select it and move your cursor or apple pencil to the area you want to change the color of. And move it up and down. You should see that the hue is changing as I'm doing this. So like this you could directly adjust the hue. Right now, the Hue tab is being selected, but when you grab the cross mark with Size tab selected, touch and slide the screen, you can see the change in the size. 
What's good about this method is that you can change the color on the antenna spot more accurately. I use this often for this reason. So when you want to make slight alternations, you could use the cross mark here. There are some filters available by default on Lightroom, so I'm just going to show you a few of them before we move on to the next image. Alright, just like this, it's complete. At last, I'm going to trim this image in square size or in Instagram style. By the way, this Coco Taxi is pretty interesting, so if you ever visit Cuba, please try it at least once. Okay, next will be the last image. We are going to do black and white composition. As you just saw, they already have filters ready here. So we are going to use one of these again. This time, choose a filter called black and white preset, which leaves the vivid impressions. Just like we did earlier, turn the lens correction filter on. The car was green in color, and you could also edit that in case you want to darken the part which was originally green in color. Like we did it before, from the color tab here, select the rainbow mark where it will then show you an option that says gray mix. Select green color, move the slider for brightness below, and now the part which was green in color changes. Go to the light tab and make adjustments and it should look nicely done. If you want to make this black and white image more vivid or clear, go to the right panel and move the slider for contrast to the max. If you move it to zero, you will have a flat image. At last, I'm going to trim the image. Alright, like this, it's complete. The image looks very vivid with a lot of filters on, but this is what I have now, and this is the original one. You can easily do photo editing like this, so I highly recommend Lightroom. It may seem difficult in the beginning, but once you get used to it, you can do advanced photo editing, so I hope everyone gives it a try and use it too. There will be this thing called Photoshop for iPad released by Adobe soon, and once it's out, the integration with Lightroom should be great, so I think it's definitely worth learning to use Lightroom for now. Alright, that's all for today. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.